with that i'm going to continue we saw self-supervised we saw supervised and now we are going to extend this to semi-supervised learning so the same ideas you're using them for different label ratio or the ratio of labeled data or the percentage of labeled data in your data set what is the idea the idea of semi-supervised learning was you wanted to learn from few labeled examples we have spent quite a lot of time on semi-supervised learning here's another method do your unsupervised learning ignore the labels do your unsupervised or self-supervised learning perhaps do contrastive learning here train a large cnn using on your unlabeled data then do supervised fine-tuning you take that model and then adjust its parameters on your supervised data on the data that has label this is a small portion of your data that is actually labeled but then this is going to be a giant model we cannot use it in practice especially if you want to take those models and put them on smaller devices you can then do a little bit of task specific training you change your cnn on the unlabeled data it's a small cnn on your unlabeled data and then you can do model distillation and then this model is the one that you're going to put into production but what is this model that you're training and how are you training it this is version two of Sinclair. we saw version one this is going to be version two so there's going to be some extensions here and some improvements and we are going to see what the extensions are that's going to be this unsupervised pre-training part and then we are going to explain the supervised fine-tuning and then model distillation you have two views of the same example which you augmented them in two different fashions and the way that you augmented them perhaps they are random crops of the same image they are color distortions of the same image or you did gaussian blurring you take those images push them through your feature extractor which is this big cnn here that's going to give you the representations and you can think of f as a resnet you take h you push them through a nonlinear function multilayer perceptron this is going to help you do some sort of metric learning you're learning your distance between these features you're adding a little bit more flexibility to your model and it turns out that these g's are really crucial that's going to give you two z vectors that you're going to be able to compare if you have positive cases which means they are augmented versions of the same images those features should be similar to each other if they are negative they should be pushed apart and contrastive learning is going to help us do that okay what are the improvements on Sinclair which is going to give you Sinclair version 2 use a larger ResNet model ResNet 152 with some modifications this SK that you see is a selective kernels uh, don't be afraid of it it is just a channel wise attention mechanism it's not pixel wise attention it is going to be each channel paying attention to every other channel and the other contribution is making g deeper previously g was shallow two layers you're going to make g deeper and then rather than discarding g entirely you are going to look at a middle layer of g to give you the representations previously this was the arrow you were stopping at the top of the cnn and those were giving you your features your representations now you are going one or two layers up in the g function previously we were dropping g altogether now you're stopping at some layer and those are going to give you your features the other one which is going to help you increase the size of your uh, negative examples while reducing the cost was the memory idea or the caching ideas that we saw in momentum contrast so you're going to bring those ideas also here and that's also going to give you some consistency the things that you're comparing yourself to are going to be consistent rather than changing from one mini batch to another mini batch and then this is going to help the learning process it turns out why bigger models actually bigger models are going to give you larger gains when you do your fine tuning especially when you when you have fewer labels you can see it from this figure this is the relative gain to a baseline and you're using one percent of the data it's giving you larger gains for larger models 
compared to when you have 10% or 100%. So these are relative, relatively speaking. If you look at the absolute uh, performance, this is actually going to be reversed because whenever you have more data, your model is going to do better whenever you have more labeled data. But assuming that you have uh, the same model, training it with 1%, 10%, or 100%, the one that is trained using 1% one, 1 is going to give you the best gain when you do unsupervised pre-training and then fine-tuning. Okay? So we explained this part, which was Sinclair version 2. We explained supervised fine-tuning, and then you're going to see the distillation, and you're going to do that on unlabeled data. Whenever you're talking about distillation, you have a teacher model, which is going to be this giant model here, fine-tuned. And then you're going to have a student model learning from the teacher. So the student is going to make some predictions, and then you're going to compare those predictions to the predictions of the teacher. They should match as much as possible for the distance between these two, which is the cross-entropy between the two should be minimized. And let's see what we get. If 10% of your data is labeled, this is the previous state of the art, this is Sinclair version 2. Previous state of the art, Sinclair version 2. This is a smaller model compared to the 152 layers ResNet. So larger models are going to help you. But something interesting happens here. This is the top one accuracy of a model that is trained in a supervised fashion using 100% of the labels. Sinclair version 2, both of them are doing better than that baseline using a fraction of the data, using 10% of the labeled data. You will still have a lot of unlabeled images, but 10% of them are labeled, okay? Was everything clear? Any questions? Okay, awesome.